My name's Rosie and I'm an astronomer and science communicator here at Kilda Observatory. So I help run the events every night. So doing a talk, um, using one of the telescopes to look at things in the sky and making hot chocolates. I am Gregor Mao. I am one of the astronomers at Kilda and I'm also the first facilities lead. My name's Adam. I am an astronomer here at Kilda Observatory, uh, but I'm also the education lead. My name is Dan Pai, and I'm Director of Astronomy and Science Communication. I like the word. <laughs> it's a cool job, isn't it? I love that it's an active role, so I'm not sort of sitting behind a desk. Money. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's basically being paid to do a hobby, which is really cool. I think the best thing about being an astronomer is not having to put an alarm clock ever. You can just wake up at whatever time you want in the morning. I really like the view. Definitely the dark skies. Um, so I like the I like I like giving people access to think about the the greater structure of the universe and taking people outside of just this tiny little box that we live in on a daily basis. So it almost frees people's minds to think about how big things are out there and how tiny and insignificant almost they are. I was a volunteer at the time and uh, I was asked whether I'd be interested in uh, in applying for the job and I thought yeah absolutely actually it might take me away from this career that I'm kind of lost in and buried in uh, into a career that I'm more passionate about. Good question. Um, <laughs> I became an astronomer because I really liked the stars, I really liked physics and astronomy and astrophysics and I saw um, uh, an advert for this job and I thought that sounds really cool. There's not many jobs like it and I applied for it. Uh, because I was a bit fed up of my old job, let's be honest. Uh, I just wanted a, a change of scenery um, and I quite like the North East so it was an occasion for me to move here, uh, change job, change scenery and uh, Enjoy it. Really think about why you like it, why you want to do the job, and channel what I'm sure you have a lot of enthusiasm for. Channel that enthusiasm, uh, that interest that you have in astronomy, in space, and um, to really demonstrate that, because that's ultimately 90% of our job, to be honest. I would tell applicants to just apply uh, to not restrain themselves because I almost didn't apply and if I didn't apply I wouldn't be here. Personality is what we really want to see from applicants. I would give them the advice that if at first you don't succeed try and try again because it took me three times to get this job but I did it on the third try <laughs> so if you don't make it first time round apply again. Um, yeah. Yes, I would definitely apply. Yes, I would still apply. Yes, definitely. If you could turn back time, would you still apply? Um, I'm not sure if I would still apply to this job just because, you know what, on second thoughts, I think I would. It's a really great opportunity. <laughs> blah, 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 blah.